This clip is about Zim. Zim is a desktop wiki optimized for personal usage. Zim is also good for knowledge sharing via source control management. Zim has typical wiki features. This clip highlights just aspects of Zim. There is no focus on completeness. Now, what are the key features of a wiki? Wiki gives some sort of content management, is simple and efficiently in use, and knowledge base that is shared and maintained within a team. A knowledge base does not necessarily imply that everything is on the local disk, but instead we have links to the web and attachments of any sort. Another essential feature tied with wiki is some sort of markup syntax we deal with poor text files. There is a long list of use cases, knowledge in all sorts. We have protocols, how-tos and many more. Let's visit some links to project resources. Everything starts with the project homepage. It's a wiki organized as in the home introduction in a short summary of the main features of the Zim book. Screenshots area with screencasts and others. Download area and uh, contribution area where you find your way to the project information with uh, management information and bug reports. It's a good idea to have a Zim page with uh, bookmarks links to your mostly visited pages. Let's talk about highlights of Zim from my personal view. We have no dependency on a wiki server. We have a very local installation. The editor is VisiWik built in and we have a lot of efficiency features which help a lot at daily work. Zim notebooks are plain text files which you can edit and search with any other tool also. Zim is written platform independently so you can switch from one platform to another with the same original knowledge base. The Zim core functionality may be and is already extended with plugins. Important plugins cover spell checker, attachment browser, GNU plot graphics, tags and task lists, printing and version control like Git etc. and many more. Changes on files and directories are indicated to the distributed source code management automatically. That's what I mean with Zim is prepared to use something like Git. Therefore, even if collaboration in a team is easy, Zim is designed and optimized for a single user operation. Of course, there are exports in HTML or Markdown. You may switch between the built-in Visivik editor and an external editor to edit just the wiki syntax on the fly. And last not least, the whole Zim manual is available as an online help with the menu contents. So I'm ready with this very short overview section about them. Thanks Job for giving us this excellent tool. I like the share of knowledge. Thanks for watching.